on Hong Kong, or at least heading that way. Uh, kind of a food tour, shopping tour. And uh, this is the old section here. We just got off the, uh, the subway and we're walking through one of the terminals. And she was telling us every terminal is tied to a shopping mall, which is why we see all these shops. The Mass Transit Railroad, which services all of Hong Kong, uh, makes over 5.5 million trips on, per day with a 99.9% .9 on time rate. So on the outside, it's a shipping container. But on the inside, it's a swimming pool. We had a nice walk along the uh, harbor waterfront and uh, that over there is Hong Kong Island itself and we're heading there. This is where the Orient Express ended, where that clock tower is, uh, that left from uh, Europe. So the, the train terminal used to be there, and they tore it down to make room for modern buildings. But they left the clock tower. So that's amazing that you've heard about, uh, well, Agatha, was it Agatha Christie's novel, Murder on the Orient Express? Um, and that's where, that's what's left of To get to the island of Hong Kong, we took the uh, Star Ferry. Uh, across the harbor. Uh, this uh, ferry system has been uh, crossing the, uh, the harbor for over a century and uh, it's a truly icon of, uh, of Hong Kong itself. We're getting off the ferry and we're on Hong Kong Island now. We're walking across the central pedestrian footbridge uh, that goes through the city, which allows you not to have to fight the traffic below. This escalator system uh, is a great way to get around the city. Uh, it stretches over 800 meters and rises 135 meters, has 20 escalators and three moving sidewalks. It's quite a system. And here we are at the Tao Chong Bakery, our first stop on our food tour. These are called Shanghai Pan Fried Soup Buns. And uh, we tried, uh, there's kind of a signature, there's signature tarts and puffs. And uh, it's kind of interesting to how you eat them. And so what we do is that uh, there are two different flavors for now, for the ladies and one gentleman. The one with the black and white sesame, that's the original flavor, so do that first. The one with black sesame, that's the one with truffle. You take a small bite and yeah, get this one first. You, a spoon is always easier unless you prefer the truffle. And you say take a bite out of the top? Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. And then try to suck the soup, not drink. Suck the soup. Try to suck the soup. With this, is this with You can put it as well. Okay. zero. Thank How you. many cows are we looking for? I will just are share. Are you going to eat that? Well, I'm going to eat that. Two. Okay. Mm, very good. Good? Mm -hmm. This is really good. You pull the little piece of meat out. And the inside of this is, uh, this is broth. And then you suck it out. You suck out the broth. And then you put. I was looking at that a napkin. 
I'm going to put vinegar in there. <laughs> I will. Mm. The vinegar really adds a, an interesting taste to it. Onward and upward to the next stop for food. So we've walked up to this little courtyard. Ah, thank you. And uh, we are now going to try some pastries and desserts that she has uh, bought at a local bakery. So that should be good. This is uh, barbecue pork. Oh, so even, even savory, it's a little bit like a dessert. What, they, what is this? Barbecue pork? Barbecue pork. Oh, so even though it's pork, it's savory and could be a dessert. Mmm. That's really good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Mm. Interesting. I'm gonna take one more bite and you can finish it. Hey, we are now at the Lux Garden restaurant. Yeah. And Laura is thrilled to be here <laughs> with us. Oh, stop. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be fish. We can always get more if you want. Not bad. Okay, what's the wide So when we sat down, we had two sets of chopsticks, white and black. The black were on the outside, and those were for getting food from the public plates and putting them on your plate. And then you used the white ones to eat the food off of your plate into your mouth. And I'll confess, I got mixed up several times. Uh, we got the spring roll. This one is a little bit different. They mix it with avocado and shrimps. Uh, oh, this. So I only get three of these. These are mixed with sticky rice. So you get a different texture. Uh, I'm going to ask for the scissor roll. So we can cut it in half. Inside there's barbecue pork again with mushrooms and some dry shrimps. We didn't check out the dry supermarket today. The, uh... the entrees included uh, shrimp dumplings, beef balls, steamed pork ribs with black garlic, spring rolls, mixed puff with pork and dried shrimp, uh, Custard rolls, beef fried rice noodles, roast, and brined pigeon, which was, I'll show you later, very interesting. Uh, it's also custard, but it's mixed with a whole piece of lychee inside. Oh, uh, this is a traditional dessert. For, uh, so normally I only order that, but that's for the picture. This is a good one. Though. What's this called again? Uh, we just call it little lychee. Little lychee. Little lychee. Little lychee. Little lychee. Little lychee. Little lychee is the fruit. Lychee is the fruit. <laughs> well, it's warm inside. What did you say? It's kind of like little rice krispies. Hard. Hard rice uh, it's interesting. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> that is the pigeon. Two pigeons. Two pigeons. You got the head. They caught this morning. And their heads. I think those are the two I fed. As we prepare to eat the pigeon, they have given us plastic rubber gloves or plastic gloves. I feel like I'm getting ready to examine something. And here, <laughs> so I've got this little pigeon here, and we're going to have a bite. They are local, but I mean, they just shoot them down. They farm them. They farm them. My son-in-law raises pigeons, but not to eat. It's a weird flavor. Maybe you think it's well. Oh, don't eat the head! <laughs> I think that's all the pigeon I'm going to have. That's not exactly what I would call my favorite dish. And there are the pigeon heads that Laura was making sure nobody ate. Going through a wet market. In these uh, wet markets, everything is fresh. And the reason it got the word wet is because when you see fish, uh, it's they're, they're alive and swimming. And uh, You'll see those later on in the video here as we go along. But this meat, uh, it was uh, it was on the hoof in the morning, and now it's uh, being sold in the in the wet market. So it's it's very fresh. You can see the uh, shrimp are crawling around and fish are swimming. So it's a fascinating place to walk through. market is over a hundred years old and one of the largest here in Hong Kong. Lots of variety at the market. Uh, eggs, uh, there's some uh, dried octopus or squid, lots of fresh vegetables. Um, you name it, you can get it here. And for stuff that is not fresh, they have what they call the dry markets. And you go there and you your dry goods. On our way back to the uh, ship we took uh, the tram, uh, it's like a trolley, and these, uh, these little trams are trolleys, two-decker, uh, like buses but they run on rails, are the ones that uh, the tram on uh, Harry Potter was patterned after. And uh, it's kind of fun to watch them the traffic here you've got uh, uh, trams running in the middle buses on the side cars all over the place uh, it's, it's truly fascinating to watch and of course with 7.6 million people living in uh, Hong Kong a lot of people on the go This lady is our tour guide. Her name is Ashley. She owns Ashley M. Hong Kong Private Tours. And 
and I highly recommend her. She was great. Did a wonderful job for us. If you like our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Around the World in 274 Days. Bob Allen Travels. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified uh, on our next uh, uh, when we post our next video, which will be from Taiwan. Thanks for watching. <laughs>